Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you a few samples that I have created with the Balloon Celebration Bundle, which is the Balloon Celebration Stamp Set, so you can see I used it a lot here, and then as well as the Coordinating Punch, which you can see here. So you can see that the punch actually has a larger balloon and a smaller balloon, and those, both of those images are in the stamp set. So here is the fabulous stamp set, so there's a solid balloon and an outline of the large and the small, and then there's also some fabulous little, um, uh, I don't know what you would really call these, little de extra details uh, that you can give the bottom side of the balloon to really add some color and texture and dimension to your uh, project with your little balloon there. There's also a single strand here, and then there's also a multi-strand here so you can do lots of balloons all bundled together. There's some great uh, tags there that you can use for greetings, some awesome background pieces, uh, and then there's also the clouds too, which are lots of fun to play with. So let's set that aside. Of course, don't forget you can bundle and save and get 15% off on that collection. And then of course until March 31st, if you purchase this stamp set bundle as well as anything else totaling up to $50, then you can get the Party Pants new celebration stamp set. So this one just came out on February 15th, and this one also has a balloon and a little um, string to go with it, and this balloon coordinates with the punch as well. So how fabulous is that? And this one has some great greetings, like put your party pants on. Love, love, love that. I think it is absolutely adorable. So there's lots of other great stamp sets that you can use that coordinate with it as well. As you can see with this one, I just stamped all over and then added a few little uh, strings and a little gold balloon. This one I went very basic with a little bit of washi tape and went for a little uh, man card look there. This one I used the full bouquet and punched out different ones um, in some of the Blushing Bride glitter paper and some of the iridescent glitter paper and then also some in just the regular solid card stock. With the solid card stock I did actually stamp the outline of the balloon before punching it out. This one I added a few of the clouds and then did two of the balloons. I didn't do the outline, I did the solid piece and then I did that little extra texture um, that you have where it's like the little dots on the bottom part of the balloon and it gives that, um, that darker hue on the bottom um, with the lighting and everything, so that's super fabulous. Then this one I decided I would use some of the extra pieces. So I actually did um, the, the two sets of stars, there's the solid stars and the outline stars, and then I embossed this with the stars embossing folder, and then used my star framelits and stamped congratulations and let us celebrate. Of course I used the Wink of Stella brush to add a little bit of glitter, can you see all that fabulous glitter and of course the shine from the silver foil paper makes it even more fabulous. So let's get started and I'll just show you a few little ways um, that you can use your balloons for stamping. So I have Elegant Eggplant and Wisteria Wonder. I went for a light and a dark purple. And so you can always then stamp the outline in your darker color. And then you can stamp the inside solid piece in the lighter color. And of course, since these are photopolymer, you can see right through them to line them up. And there you have that fabulous balloon. Of course, you can do multiple balloons, and you can always add um, different shades by stamping off a few times or just stamping a few times before going back to the ink and then you can get sort of that look where some of them are farther away and some of them are closer up. That is what I did for this card here, which I used Rich Razzleberry. So that's how I achieved that look, is by stamping um, a couple times before going back to the ink pad and just kind of overlapping them and everything there, which is super fabulous. Another thing I wanted to show you is with the um, with all the strings. So with that, I'm just going to stamp this down. And then again, like I said, since it's photopolymer, it's really easy to line up each of those strings with your balloon and get that perfect look. 
How fabulous is that? So simple, so quick, love it. And then when it comes to punching them out, the best way to use this is to stamp first and punch second so that you don't have to worry about um, lining it up exactly. It makes it a little bit easier on you. And then of course we can always slide our piece of paper with the punched image into the punch, line that up there, and punch. And so then you have your fabulous punched out balloon. I always like to add my balloons whenever I do the bouquets where some of them are up on stamp and dimensionals and then some of them are flat just to kind of add that texture and dimension to that balloon bouquet. So you could always add this with dimensionals up front and you could always stamp some of yours with the outline and some without the outline to add extra dimension as well. I love it. I've been having so much fun. You can use balloons for so many different occasions. So it's really easy and, um, and fun to play with that. Here you can always take some designer series paper. This is some of the um, cup, cupcake designer series paper in the regular holiday mini catalog. I'll leave a, I'll let you know in the comments. <laughs> I forgot the name of that. But then you always have that fabulous little designer series paper one too with a lot of extra um, texture and print to it. So super, super fun. Lots of great ways to use this stamp set. Let's bring back in all of those samples. I'll be posting each of these on my blog. So I will be leaving links down below as I get each of those posted and you can check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my blog so you don't miss out on any future posts using the balloon celebration stamp set and lots of the other goodies that are in the holiday, or I'm sorry, the occasions mini catalog. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite and I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.